to the Foxwoods Resort Casino in Ledyard, Connecticut with Van Stokes. I'm Sam Nover. And we are halfway through the competition now as we move to the 156 pounders, the light middleweights fighting for Cuba, Alfredo Duverhell, and his opponent, 21 year old Michael Nunnally. Out of Jackson, Tennessee, a product of the Northern Michi Michigan University boxing program, and fighting a Cuban for the very first time. Third man in the ring. Our referee is Jose Puerto of Cuba as you look at the tail of the tape. And Duverhill with a five year in terms of age advantage, certainly in terms of experience over Nunley. This is a very young USA team, obviously, Van. Well, Duverhill also has a notch on his holster, if you will, by winning the silver medal in the World Championships in 1993, something that Nunley cannot claim. But Nunley comes out smoking nonetheless. Unimpressed, is he? a slip on uh, on the part of Duverhell who smiles at Nunnally. Sam, I like Michael Nunnally, not just because he comes from Jackson, Tennessee, and considers his greatest accomplishment earning a scholarship to North, Northern Michigan University, but he's a very mature and poised 21-year-old boxer. And he's got a lot of experience here in the States. The question is now, can it convert to the international arena? And he is strong has power in both hands and the danger of course uh, at the amateur level is that you look for the one punch knockout when he's really got to work on his scoring punches box with his combinations and you can rest assured that Duverhell will be there for the whole bout oh, he's much too experienced much too poised to be shaken by uh, by being hit early there's no doubt about that Duverhell is not going anywhere so the question is where's Michael Nunnally going to go and it better be right at Duverhell and if it does he'll be successful he's going to take some in the process though as you can see there a couple of jabs and a strong left by Duverhell great left hand not only told us that he has butterflies but he says that's a good thing to have it's just like being back on a punt or for the opening kickoff Sam if you don't have that little bit of sweat in your palms you've been in the game too long you need to get out well since the opening flurry Duverhell has just got in some wonderful right leads and left uh, left hook straight left hands he fights southpaw boxes southpaw as you can see has great ringmanship all these Cubans just really have tremendous footwork they do they have balance I mean they have long limbs uh, long legs and long arms and the wingspan serves them so well and the legs they're not just long they're powerful under a minute to go in the first round Michael Nunnally trying to make an impact here on Alfredo Duverhell, who is the Cuba national champion from 1992 and 93. And as Van already mentioned, a silver medalist at the world championships in 93. 26 years old. Much the more experienced of the two. Duverhell has the range of a 767. <laughs> Question is the wingspan. the wingspan of it, and I think he just might have some of that power hidden in there too. We haven't seen it thus far, but uh, if he's like the rest of his teammates, it's hidden in there somewhere. Ten seconds to go in the opening round. Pretty good round for these guys at 156 pounds. Again, it's Michael Nunnally in blue, Alfredo Duverhell in red. Pretty good action in the opening round of this light middleweight contest on the part of both boxers. Nunnally seeking to get to the inside finds a nice right hand off the head of Alfredo Duverhell. Duverhell's not daunted though as he moves away ever so gently and ever so smartly. Sam Dover, Van Stokes back here at Foxwoods Resort, Ledyard, Connecticut, round number two at 156 pounds. Alfredo Duverhell. Ever the poised boxer in the red uh, vest and the red headgear against the American Michael Nunnally. Three straight right jabs by uh, Duverhill. Followed up with a left by Duverhill. Again, this doesn't come naturally. This is a highly tuned and highly skilled trained boxer. You know, Nunnally uh, feels that he has had his 
career interrupted a couple of times. He suffered a tragic loss of a very dear friend who uh, somehow was allowed to box twice in the same night and was killed in the ring. And that set Michael back uh, immeasurably in his boxing career. And uh, he said he just got his career pumped up again and they closed down the gyms and the boxing program in Tennessee. So he's had a few setbacks, but he's a very optimistic young man forging ahead here and trying to get his career on track. And right now he's on track in this bout as he seeks to be the aggressor against uh, Duver Hill. But you know, Sam, that's part of the Olympic experience. As Albert uh, uh, de Corbettin, the founder of the Modern Olympics, said, it's not the triumph, it's the struggle. It's the overcoming obstacles in getting there. And Michael Nunnally typifies this Olympic spirit. Well, he sure does, man. And he's uh, giving it everything he's got, working the belly now. Working the inside. Minute gonna 35 to go in a low blow. Going to call him for a low blow, and that, and that was a good call by the referee. It was unintentional, but it was a low blow nonetheless. Duverhell is carved, isn't he? Oh, he is. He is. Great specimen. That's the midway mark in the second round and in the bout. And Michael's going to have to pick up the pace, start getting off first, because Duverhell is starting every flurry and finishing most flurries. I I'm impressed by the poise that I've seen from all the good left hand. Excuse me, Van. Very good left hand. And another left hand by Duberhill. You know, that's one of his big weapons, I think, Sam, is it happens to be that left hand. Leading with his head, I think he was cautioned about by the referee. That's correct. No points deducted for that. Again, safety is the primary concern of that third man in the ring. 